Do you ever negotiate your job offer? And are you confident in negotiating a job offer? Unfortunately, most people do not negotiate and are not comfortable in negotiating. So in today's video, I wanna share with you three key tips to help you prepare for a successful negotiation. These are some tips where I have helped my clients to successfully negotiate for five figures or six figures more. Some of my clients have been making 20,000 or 50,000, or even my executive clients have been making $100,000 more. Some clients have even doubled their salary during a pandemic as well. So here are my tips. First is to know your negotiation power and leverage. When you have leverage, you have greater negotiation power. So for example, if you have another opportunity that you're interviewing or you're then expecting an offer, you can tell the employer that you are interviewing elsewhere or that you're expecting an offer where they can expedite the decision-making process, or they could also give you a better offer to get more there. I have had a few clients leverage this negotiation strategy to get more. For example, I had a client who were interviewing for two opportunities. She received an offer with one, and she also really liked the other one. So she told this employer that she is interviewing elsewhere and expecting an offer as well. And instantly they negotiated on the phone and she was able to get $15,000 more. I had another executive level client who told the employer that she was interviewing elsewhere. Within 10 minutes, she got a call and they negotiated that they were going to give her an offer and what the offer would look like there. She was so excited that she was getting a much better offer than she expected. Other things that you want to keep in mind that would impact the negotiation power is whether this is a new role or a replacement role, whether this is a role that's been open for a long time, or whether this role is really hard to fill. If it's a really hard to fill role, you do have negotiation power, meaning if you offer that unique skills or experience that they are looking for there. Number two is to know what you're worth and the value that you bring. So this is really the confidence building piece in really believing that you deserve a better offer or what you have to offer is unique. What you want to do here is really get clear on why are you being hired? What is your competitive edge? What are the reasons that they are hiring you there? Get clear on that as that will help you understand how you want to position yourself and why you want to ask for more. You can also do some research to understand what is the market value of the role that you're going after. What's the minimum and the maximum? What's the low end and the high end to give an idea of your range. Get really clear on what your market rate is by looking at websites such as Glassdoor or salary.com there. Or you can ask a recruiter of what the budget is, or maybe you can ask some friends for some intel there. Third is to know what you want and make the ask with confidence. So this is the key here. You need to know what is it that you really want. You got to know your number. You also need to get clear on what's really important to you in terms of negotiating. Is it the fact that you want to negotiate a base salary, the commission, vacation days, or do you want to negotiate the title or a signing bonus? What are the things that you want to negotiate? Typically, I recommend to only negotiate two to three items max, and there's usually only two rounds of negotiation. So you have to really prioritize what you want to negotiate. Now, in terms of preparing for the negotiations, what you want to do is that you want to craft a great email and practice your script until you sound confident there. I hope you find this helpful in helping you negotiating the offer that you want. If you want more great tips, feel free to come on over to my website at www.mymarketability.com or come to my YouTube channel to get more tips to help you elevate your career and job search success. Cheers to your markability.